court case in Vegas. The violation of probation has been vacated according to court records. Shout out to Circus of Blues 2. On 6-17-2024, there was a motion to quash bench warrant filed in the action in the judgment, amended judgment of conviction. And he no longer has a warrant out of Nevada. And his Nevada hold is no longer short up at the motion to quash, okay, which means that they're going to void it for some technical issue, specifically saying that uh, he's in L.A. County, he's dealing with that. A lot of people are looking at, like, well, maybe if Blueface filed the motion to quash his open case in Vegas in the bench warrant, then perhaps Chris Sean could do the same thing in Oakland. Absolutely not. Um, I don't think so. I really don't. Like I said, Chris Sean Rock... I've already broke it down in the previous video. Krishan Rock basically violated probation um, as early as June 8, 2023, and she was picked up on June the 10, 2024. She owes Oklahoma four years probation. She didn't do not one day, didn't show up to orientation. Nothing. Um, headbutt. Crazy, right? I was also looking at a video from before where she was with Blueface at Kai Sinatra's house, and they pretty much, she threw a chair and broke the wall. And Blueface was laughing and saying, that's how she did the Airbnb. And Chris Sean was like, well, that Airbnb is my house. No, the Airbnb is not your house. A lot of times when you, when you see kids being passed around from family member to family member and not really having any stability, when they grow up, they're going to do any and everything to claim that stability, such as what she did when we first saw her on Blue's TV show, how she said that she stayed with Blueface and she was going to stay there regardless of anything. I think Blueface know that she pretty much grew up homeless and, and, and kind of raised by the white people. You know her real daddy them. And she never had that stability. So she don't understand when people are not playing with her. She think everybody is playing with her and the people have showed her that they're not playing with her over in Oklahoma. Um, Upon information and belief, Krishan might be looking at upwards to two years in Oklahoma State Prison. And that's bad for the child because I think kids, infants, should have their parents there. Um, I myself, my daddy was unalive when I was a baby, like junior size, and my mother went to prison twice. So I understand. So with me understanding, I also know that that could also make or break her as well as the child. And I'm going to keep the child in my prayers. But as far as Krishan filing a motion to quash a bench warrant, um, she didn't just have a bench warrant. She had a violation of probation coming out of um, Oklahoma from a year ago. After talking crap about the judge, the DA, they're not going to be playing with her, okay? Blueface did not do any of that. So Blueface uh, don't have to be transported to Vegas once he's done in Los Angeles. Blueface, according to uh, public records, his time served, he was supposed to be out based upon time served uh, already about two weeks ago. That's why a lot of people was looking at his most recent court case saying maybe he's going to get out. However, that court case is about a, a violation of probation for possession of a controlled substance. Now, I went to the courthouse and I heard the judge reference the controlled substance, not as green, but as a white substance in a rock-like form. And she did identify it as THCA, okay? Me personally, I just smoke flour when it comes to weed. So Blueface allegedly got caught up. They found it when he went to the shower. Um, I thought it was a setup. The lawyer uh, he has is very good at what he do, but at the same time, the lawyer is very emotional. The judge is absolutely against Blueface in the criminal case, as well as Krishan, the one in Van Nuys Courthouse. She's definitely against him. Um, it became a game between Blueface's attorney and the judge to figure out when, um, if they was going to get through that case that right there that particular day. Or if they was going to have to push it back and how soon could it happen. The judge totally gaslit. The judge said that she had surgery and all this other stuff as a reason to why she could not just get Blueface back in court to remedy the issue at the probable cause hearing for the violation of probation for controlled substance in jail. So that's what that case was about. His, his most current court hearing was about. And it has been continued to July 29, 2024. Okay, so that's his next court hearing and depends on what happened in that court hearing. <clears throat> will he get released? 
Now, there's a big possibility that Blueface may or may not get released on July 29, 2024 when he go to court because... Again, it's a probable cause hearing to see if he's going to be held over to trial on a violation of probation for controlled substance. It's a it's a charge that he caught from within. So he's dealing with a lot of police. Po only police and people that work with the police are witnesses and credible sources in this case. So to me, it sounded like a setup. It sounded like um, some of the baggies and some of the... The, the pouches and stuff was switched around between the polices and getting it to the testing lab. So I specifically asked Blueface attorney to ask the uh, expert witnesses as well as the state, um, pretty much the expert witness, the nurse, if they um, number their packages in, numer in order, like one, two, three, four, five, six, and yada, 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 then he would be able to boil it down to, hey, there are some contamination with these packages happening, violation of the feud of the poisonous tree doctrine, prosecution misconduct, police misconduct, case to be thrown out. So it is a probable cause here. So hypothetically speaking, I'm going to speak on both ends. Let me say the good first. Hypothetically speaking, Blueface go to this continued probable cause hearing and the judge say, hey, you know what? We're going to throw this out. We're not going to hold this over the trial. Blueface could be getting out. He's not going to be released from the Van Nuys jailhouse. He's going to have to go back downtown and dress out and get picked up from downtown. That's how they go. Now, on the flip side, if the judge hold him over to stand trial for the violation of probation for the controlled substance in jail, then what that means is the judge could say, you have to stay in jail until this trial is over with. And a lot of times, even when people are innocent, they end up taking deals that they don't want. They, they know that they're not going to comply to just to get out of jail because people be desperate. Don't nobody want to be in jail. So Chris Sean has found herself with an unalignment case, taking a plea deal on it. Then later bragging about actually pow pow and a Hispanic gentleman downtown L.A. Um, Chris Sean took a deal in Oklahoma. Chris Sean took a deal in Los Angeles. Blueface took a deal as well. So Blueface, once again... Everybody's going to be on the edge of their seats about this hearing coming up in uh, about 30 days. And maybe he'll get out. Maybe not. I wish him and I wish everybody else the best. Now, over on Instagram, somebody was like, oh, you attacking Christian and you must want Blueface. I don't want neither one of them. They are content. They're the content. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Thank you so much for listening to me. Vice versa. That's just what it is. I'm all about content. I talk about so many different things. It's ridiculous. I don't even know how I do it, to be honest with you. But I do it. So, yeah. Stop playing with me. Stop clapping. And uh, please hit the like. Please hit the like. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys being here. What do you guys think about Blueface getting out of jail? Do you guys think that he will be a changed man? Or is he going to go back to his usual? At the very least, I hope the, I hope the, the, the young man had an opportunity to sit down and think of some clever bars to come out, put some more music out, do whatever he need to do to be productive, pay back a lot of the money and the advances that he probably done took out. I don't know what's going on, man. But I wish him the best. Also, uh, I'm glad that I did not go to any of these BET events. I can show you guys. And I sent um, Sandiva Hot Topics. I sent her the list. I got invited to about 100 different parties. All I had to do was RSVP. I RSVP for two, and I did not want to go to none of them, okay? Jaden had a concert last night, and they were shooting up the spot over there at Jaden's concert, okay? They say they shot up the spot before she could even perform, and the people say they want their money back, so they finna protest. But at the end of the day, that is not Jaden's fault. It's just some knuckleheads. Jaden probably wasn't even there. Um, you know, Krishan is locked up. People are trying to figure out where the baby at and so forth. <clears throat> now, I remember when I did a live stream. I did a live stream about... Um, give me one second. Oh, wrong one. All right. I did a live stream. And I was showing how Taseki came out and pretty much said that she felt bad because uh, Krishan went to jail in junior did not have anybody to deal with him and that, you know, she's a great mother. Her kids are safe. And if anybody's kids is in that situation, she want to help them out. 
and that kid can come and eat and come and do all of this stuff at her crib. And you know, a lot of times when si especially when siblings are going back and forth, it don't even have to be siblings, right? Just kids sit up all day, every day, no matter what you tell kids, especially the baby kids. Y'all know that cartoon, baby kids. No matter what you tell them, stay in your room, go to sleep. I even seen a clip of a little girl asking her daddy, um, as she said, Mom, do we have any cats? And the mom said no. And the little girl said, Well, mom, why was dad talking about beating the cat? Take your go to sleep. What is you listening to? Type of stuff. You know, the kids, the long guy kids that eat all the popsicles, the honey drippers and stuff, that'll be right around the corner whenever an, uh, an adult is having conversation, especially about some gossip, right? They pretend they sleep, but they just listening. They just listening and taking it in. And then when they think you're gone, you roll up on them, on them with their little friends. They talking like you. They acting like you. And they be five years old going on 25 years old. You know what I'm talking about. So the truth that came out, uh, ain't no need for Taseki to sit there and say that she would have taken Christian Rock Baby Jr. When you have conditioned your own kids to dislike Christian, and you know if the child is disliked, if your sister is disliked, then the sister child going to be disliked by your church, and they're going to bully Junior, pinch him, and do everything. Your child and told it, uh, it, it ain't no safe environment for Junior, but probably for CPS or on Blue You talk side. to Sean, no, I don't talk to her. Why would she? Y'all like my food. Look at my food here, y'all, but I'm edges. Big. Don't peck me. You don't like Kashawn Evis? It's not that I don't like her. I don't care for her. I like the way your body is. Is that too obvious? Okay. Pretty good. Grown. Your stuff jumping. Yeah, yo, I don't cuss. Y'all all fans. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you talk to Kashawn? No, I don't talk to her. Why would she? So this is Taseki's daughter. Um, I've never seen the child. I firmly believe that kids should not be on the in on, on the internet. As as despicable as Ron DeSantis is, Ron DeSantis basically, basically making kids under the age of 16 stay off of social media. I totally agree with that piece of legislation. Um, I did not want to see Taseki kids. I did not want... Uh, why, I don't even understand, like, complete... I mean, content is content. But am I going to go out and look for Taseki's kids' Instagrams and pages and follow them just because I need content and no matter who it is or where it is, is uh, going to speak about Christian, we got to get it. No, I'm not going to go that low, but it is on the blog. And I am definitely looking at it and I am going to talk about it. But the fact that Taseki sat up there and said that she was going to take her nephew... And that wherever her kids are, her nephew is safe. This girl, this, your child is a child with another girl with a bonnet on her head. And, you know, they're having fun. They're kids. They're not going to look out the junior. And this guy or whoever's taking care to take his kids is pretty much nobody in her family. It's some man that she's dealing with, her husband. So if she sat up, if her husband has sat there and heard Taseki talk about Junior, talk about Krishan, you know, Taseki, oh, I, I haven't even met my nephew and it's a shame that if he's in CPS, I'm going to jump to it. Well, if you haven't met your nephew and you cared about your nephew, you've heard all the allegations people have been saying about your nephew online, about his alleged disability, about his hernia, about... CPS, uh, so much has been said and done, and you not once checked on that child. Ain't no way in hell if I got a niece and nephew that's out there, I don't care what's going on with me and my sister, me and my brother, I'm going to check on that niece and nephew, and it's going to be that child's job to build an independent relationship with me. Junior's in an innocent place. Everybody should have been worried about Junior. People are mad and upset with me because at the courthouse, I got Carlissa and 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 um Jonathan sitting there basically confirming that they don't care about the baby. They wasn't gonna carry him because if that was my grandchild, no matter if if, if it's either one of them, if that was my cousin, if that baby had a little itty bitty ounce of blood of me, I would have been like, no, we don't know y'all. Marsh, I would have even told I was Marsh, you ain't even related to this baby. 
I understand what how Christian might feel about me and all of this, but this baby ain't got nothing to do with that grown folks stuff. So we're gonna see her when she get out. Now they passing the baby around, passing the baby around. They're trying to figure out which one of them, since Krishan has even convinced them that she's rich. She's convinced us that she's rich and she's been homeless. Told the people Airbnb up saying it's her house. It was never your house. There was never no deeds, no name, none of that. Okay, you showed them that you had millions of subscribers on the internet and you scammed the people. And it, and it won't be surprising if we find that pop up, you get an eviction action. You're not in the house no more. Jaden, Marsh, all of them, they, got, they didn't got kicked out the house. Now the people can go back to their house. I wonder if the people are finally going to see some about what, how many holes in the wall and all of this stuff. I, would be, I wouldn't be surprised if any day now we see a lawsuit filed against Christian for whatever happened inside of the Airbnb she was living in. She said it was her house. She said Blueface house is her house. She was willing to go to jail, hardcore stand up the whack 100 to make sure she had a place to stay in Los Angeles on some bum stuff, you know? So um, I think people are not, that's loud. I think people are not looking at this from an articulate standpoint. Sometimes you got to sit down somewhere. If the children in your family don't mess with you, what? You are Christian Rock. You got all of these fans all over the world and your own, the kids in your family don't mess with you. The kids in my family, the kids in my community, they pay attention to me and be telling me stuff. I'm like, really? You seen that? I'm like, wow, y'all really do pay attention to me. And these kids are saying, we don't care about Christian Rock. They don't look up to her. She's not no influence to them or nothing. Like, you want little girls, if you out there influencing people and you got 2 million, 3 million followers and you a black black girl turning into a woman, at least the black girls in your family, the ones that watch social media on Instagram, on TikTok, at least they should have some positive thought about you, want to be you, want to be like you. Oh my, like, like the kids in my family, I don't even, I... I don't even see them and I don't know how long. And sometimes I'd be like, if they remember me, they remember me. They watch me. They're, they're watching my YouTube. They don't comment. They, they tell me in person. And the whole time I'm thinking nobody's paying attention. Nobody don't care about me. Right? So these kids are a telltale sign on who are the, who are the ones perpetuating generational curses and who's not. No kid in your family is supposed to sit there and act nonchalant. And act like they don't care because you locked up and your baby out here. And, and the baby is this child's cousin. Little cousin. Y'all like my food. Look at my food here, yo, without edges. Big. Don't peck me. You don't like Kashawn Evis? Not that I don't like her. I don't care for her. I like the way your body is. Is that too obvious? Okay. Free do it this one. Your stuff. Okay, I'm going to skip this because me personally, uh, I'm going to just tell you something um, about that video. I don't feel comfortable seeing that girl get up and do all of that with them tight clothes. I don't, I don't feel comfortable. I really don't, honestly. That's why kids are not supposed to be on the internet. I'm looking at the video to try to get the content and just how many men out there are just watching this girl child. Staying up with some tight clothes on. Why she got them tight clothes on like that? Further perpetuating it. Aiding and abating it. Why? Because she's looking at her mama on baddies. She's looking at uh, Christian. These are the behavioral traits that, that, that she's being taught, that she's projecting and perpetuating. And I don't feel comfortable watching her stand up and do all of this with them tight clothes. That's not, I don't feel comfortable with that. Even even the girl cousins and all of these girls in my family, I don't feel don't no, nah, then get away from me. You doing too much. You too now. Nah. Stay over there. Stay out of stay out of me and face and go find your Barbie doll or go find go play volleyball with the white girls or something instead of being with somebody with a bonnet on with cell phones and talking about grown people business. I don't agree with none of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just that like I'm 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 glad y'all see the same thing. It's just uh every single time. One second. Every single time I played that video one time 
And then I was like, okay. Mm -mm. Played it. And then I'm like, okay, nah. They, I know these people see what I see. And I'm not trying to read nobody's children or nothing. But that is too grown for me. Sorry. Okay. Real talk. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the Denot Show. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Please support the Denot Show anytime. Too grown. Too grown. You better be glad I ain't on Instagram because I definitely would have been dragged. Matter of fact, that's the Seki fault. That's her fault. She don't even. She's not even there to raise her child. Talking about she's so busy going to get a bag because she the big bad wolf on 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 baddies. 